Hey, what's up Sports Talk Detroit? Today's video, we are gonna talk about why the Pistons should not trade Jeremy Grant. What'd you think? I was just gonna do a video on why they should? All right, what's up everybody? This is Craig coming back at you. We can't just do a one-sided take like that. I'm not dumb enough to think that the Detroit Pistons just need to trade Jeremy Grant. There's plenty of good reasons to keep him here in Detroit. And now I'm going to do a video on why they need to keep him in town. If you're on the trade Jeremy Grant bandwagon, listen to this video. I might be able to pull you to the other side. If you're on the if you're on the don't trade him bandwagon, well, listen to this too. You might like what I have to say. But anyways, here's what we're going to do. And we're still going to back this up with a bunch of videos where we're talking about possible Jeremy Grant traits. Like, of course, we need to still do it. The news is out there. It's still our responsibility to report on that. And it's kind of fun to see what the possibilities could be. But I think as those videos come out, you're going to realize that holding on to them is probably a good option unless we have one of a few good offers that might actually be out there. So why should we keep Jeremy Grant on our team? Okay, let's look at it this way. $20 million for a two-way player, a 20 points per game scorer, a guy who rebounds decently well, plays as a stretch four, and can guard the best player on the other team. Does that sound like a good value? It absolutely does. In the previous video, I talked about not liking the contract in the future. Well, we'll see what that contract brings, but we have another year and a half to worry about that. All right, Kay needs help scoring. Cade is not at this point in his career. I don't know if he's ever going to be or not. I mean, we said things like this about Jason Tatum too, but at this point in his career, Cade's not the ISO Cade. That's not who he is. He's not going to just get buckets. So he needs other people. And what I would like to see is Cade develop more into the alpha of this team. Jeremy Grant can be the number two, just like Sadiq Bey does when he's in the lineup and Jeremy Grant's out of the lineup. But there is a way that all three can coexist and all three can get their shots up. And here's the way I think you need to do it. Pull Jeremy Grant early. We've seen this in different rotations and lineups with LeBron James and Anthony Davis in LA. Um, we've seen it where you were pretty much wherever you have two stars. We've seen it in Golden State with Clay and Steph. We've seen it all around the league, a little bit with Kevin Durant, James Harden, and then Kyrie when he's playing, right? So like we see this where you can pull a player early in the first quarter, and then that player is your primary scorer, primary handler in the second unit to start the second quarter. This solves so many problems for the Pistons. So here's what I say. Instead of waiting until the end of the first quarter to pull Jeremy Grant or with two minutes left, you pull him halfway through the first quarter. You put him back in to start the second quarter or even a minute or two in. So therefore you always have one of your stars, Cade or Jeremy, in the game. Right now we have it where Cade and Sadiq and Jeremy were all coming off the floor at the same time. That's not a good recipe and the second unit really struggles to score. They need an alpha. Jeremy Grant can be that alpha. I think even better than Cade. And you might be wondering, well, why don't you pull Cade early and let him go with the younger guys? Let him go with the second unit because he's already younger and it could be good for his development. Kate and Sadiq have proven that they play together really, really well. Sadiq is good at catch and shoot, and Cade loves to pass, and they, they already are starting to form some really good chemistry. Let Jeremy take that second unit on by storm. He's still a starter. He's still going to play 30 to 35 minutes. Just let him play half of those minutes with the second unit. It is a win for everyone. Dude's averaging 20 points. Sure, his th three points a little down this year, like a lot of people, 33%, but he's 35 plus percent three-point shooter. He's still shooting 85% from the line. He can, and he gets over a steal and over a block every single game. But it's not just the stats that make Jeremy Grant so special. It is his defensive positional versatility. That is the thing that makes Jeremy Grant so valuable. When you get in the playoffs as the Pistons want to in the next two to three years, who's going to guard Kevin Durant? Who's going to guard Giannis? Who's going to guard Harden? Who's going to guard these um, 
alpha players from the other team, DeRozan, uh, Zach Levine, like who is the guy that can shut them down in the playoffs when you need it most? Every team needs one of those. Right now, the team that is on the top of the East, I think they're still on the top, they've lost a couple games in a row, is the Chicago Bulls. What is every Chicago Bull fan afraid of right now? Who in the world is going to stop Kevin Durant and Giannis come playoff time? Because they got no one. They have no one that can shut them down. They are desperate for a guy like Jeremy Grant, a guy like Harrison Barnes, one of these guys who can be a defensive stopper. The best teams have them or they need to have someone who's an elite offensive player. That's why Jeremy Grant was so valuable in Denver. That's why Denver was willing to match the 20 million a year that the Detroit Pistons gave Jeremy Grant because they knew they needed it. And guess what? They're still desperately trying to find that. What did they give up for Eric Gordon? They gave up a ton for that guy. So Jeremy Grant has a ton of respect around the league. He was an Olympian for crying out loud. He was on the Olympic team. He's a defensive stopper. His offensive game has shown that he's more than the 12 points per game guy, three and D shooter. He can be more than that for you. In all the trade packages, what did I say my wish list was, right? I talked about wanting a guy who is a potential two or three option and a first round draft pick because then you have another potential two or three option. Well, why trade a guy who is already proven to be capable of being a number two or number three player on a good playoff caliber team to what? Get a guy who might be or two guys who might be? Right now, we're looking at a top five, top seven at worst pick right in the face. I think if we if the NBA draft was right now and the ping pong balls fell the way they should, we'd be the number three pick. That is your next potential number two or number three star on the team. Jeremy Grant's already here. He's 28 years old. He's going to be under contract through 29. He likes being in Detroit. He still wants to be the focal point of the offense. If you give him another contract, I and I get it. In the last video, I talked about his age, right? I get it. 32 is not young. It's no spring chicken. And Jeremy Grant has a lot of athleticism, but he's also shown that his game is about a lot of other things than just athleticism as well. I don't think 32 is going to kill him. And I also think Jeremy Grant's 32 is totally different than a guy who constantly had the ball in his hands through his whole career. The wear and tear is just different when you were a role player. Jeremy Grant was a role player for the first six, seven, eight years that he had in the league. He was a role player. It wasn't until last year in Detroit that he became the guy. So therefore, he doesn't have as many miles. Now, he has been injury prone while he's been here with the Pistons, but let's hope that's not that's not what it's been in his career in the past, and let's hope that's not what it will be. So here's the video. We should not trade Jeremy Grant. Now, in the next four, five, six, seven days, I'm going to be going over any trade rumors that I'm seeing with other teams. Still, Pay attention. Take a listen. I don't like most of them. I like some of them, but keep your eyes out for those videos. They're going to be dropping every night at seven o'clock here on Sports Talk Detroit. Make sure you subscribe if you like the videos and feel free to comment below. Should we trade them?